Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to do a setup in my B6 Stalogy. To do that we are going to use the bookish sticker book by The Happy Planner and we are going to get some date covers from this Numbers and Days sticker book by Agenda 52 the paper studio that I got at Hobby Lobby. Then I am going to use, let's look at the stickers because I'm going to pull some washi that I think matches it and I'll show you what options I have for the washi tape. So these are the stickers. Oh, I should mention that I start school. I go back to school on the 23rd. So next Monday or this upcoming Monday. And so I'm doing a back to school theme, a loose back to school theme in my Stalogy. So um, this bookish sticker book is about books, but I figure college is about books. So it kind of is back to school without being too in your face about it. So we have these uh, full box stickers. We have these, and these are smaller, but I could use these also. And I think that's pretty much it for the full boxes. And then we have some deco. We have these books right here. Um, we have some washi tape here in the back that I could use. We have these books, these glasses. Um, and this rainbow washi tape that I could use. But I pulled in some washi tape to match. So let's see, let's grab the first option. So the first option are these. These are by Scotch. These all came together. So the color palette in these three are similar. Um, and I figured these would match, especially this one, because it has the blues, greens, pinks, yellows, but they're not that bright. They're kind of muted. And I thought, let me zoom in just a little bit. I thought these would match pretty well with the stickers that we have here. So if I hold it close to these, I thought these would match pretty well. But I also have these washi tapes which are brighter. So I will hold these up to the stickers also. These have all the same colors, especially in this striped washi tape. These two I got from Michaels. This one I got from, I think, either Michaels or Amazon, I don't remember. But if I hold it up, you can tell that the yellow of the washi tape is brighter than the yellow that we have here. The yellow matches more with this golden yellow that we have in the other washi tape. But it's just a matter of if I want bright colors or if I want muted colors. So between these two, between these two, I feel like the bright ones on camera, the bright ones match more. So I think that's especially holding it next to this box, this striped with these stripes is calling out to me. So I think we're going to use these. We have the butterflies, the stripes and the yellow. So that's what we're going to do. I'll, I'll put these to the side. And then I'm also changing up my layout. So I pulled in these date cover washies. This is a roll by Scotch. I'm going to use these on my This Week page. And then what else do I have? I have some stickers that I made. I'm going to see how these work. Um, I'm going to separate my days based on whether my classes are on campus or online. I scheduled all of my on campus classes on the same day, all of my online classes on the same day. So that's why I made these stickers. We have some YouTube icons, some dinner icons, some date covers. Then I have my reusable sticker book that has random stickers that I can pull from. 
But the main attraction is the new layout that I'm going to do. So I have to zoom out again for this. So when I started this Stalogy, I started it in July. So let's go back to the beginning, July. I was doing my daily pages with um, a small checklist of the priority items I have to get done, a regular to-do list of everything else I have to get done. I was writing a little blurb of the day, like a little um, just small stuff that happened, and then a journaling area. So I did that for each of the days. This is the checklist. This is like a little blurb of what happened that day. This is a journaling area, priority items, checklist, some things that happened that day, journaling. And I kept this up um, throughout using this book. So as you can see, I still have the priority items, a checklist, a little of what happened today like what we had for dinner and things like that, like things that I watched and then journaling. And then the elements are the same, but the layout changes a little bit. So like I have the priority items here, the checklist and the journaling is at the bottom instead of on the side. And here on the side, we have the checklist. So the elements stay the same. The layout might be a little bit different each week. But it's basically um, priority items checklist, a little info about the day, and journaling. And so even into August, let's see, same thing. So this is just a really quick flip through so we can see what we are working with. Because these daily pages are going to change. So today is Friday the 20th. And so... These past two days have just been checklists because it's been way too busy trying to prep for school and things like that. But I have my checklist, my journaling area. This past week has just been really busy, so I haven't been able to plan ahead as much as I would like. But for this week, I'm going to do a day on two pages. And I'm doing that because I need an hourly schedule in here. This is not enough space to plan out my whole day. This is enough for a to-do list and journaling. But I have to be honest with you guys, I have been supplementing this Stalogy with daily pages by The Happy Planner. So I've been using these daily pages by The Happy Planner. I used to use a classic size Happy Planner, so that's why I have these pages. And I didn't want them to go to waste, so I figured I would still use them. And they work really well. So these are daily pages. They have um, a space for the top priorities, a checklist for your to-do items, and the most important thing is that they have this hourly schedule from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. in half hour increments. And this hourly schedule is what I use the most. So I plan out my day, I plan it out ahead in my Stalogy. And then on the morning of that day, while I'm having my coffee, I plan out my hourly schedule. And I've been doing that, so, but this, these are the last daily pages that I have. So I'm gonna have to find another solution for this. And that solution is to put the hourly schedule in my Stalogy. So I'm going to have an hourly schedule on the left-hand side and then my regular to-do list and journaling area on the right-hand side. <sighs> that's a lot, so that's what we're gonna do. And what else do I have to tell you? Um, I think that's everything. I think we can just get started. So, oh, I'm also going to do a this week page that has a weekly overview of things that I have to do for that week. I'll show you when I get when we get to that part. So the first thing I thought we could do is on the this week page, well, 
I keep thinking of more things to tell you. So I'm going to have a this week page and then the top part of this is going to be for this week and then this the half the bottom half of this page is going to be for next week because I like to plan ahead especially when I'm in school so I know if I have exams or anything the coming week. So for the this week page I'm going to use this striped washi tape at should I use it at the top or the bottom? I like the, the stripe at the top, but I think it looks more balanced with it at the bottom. See, times like this, I wish I could do a live stream and ask you in person, what should I do? Because I know I could just switch it up. On the this week pages, I could do it this at the top, this at the bottom, or vice versa. And then on the other pages, I can flip it around. So it's not that big of a deal. We have options. So also this tape that I got from Michaels, it's pretty old. So I hope it doesn't tear <laughs> while I'm trying to use it. But we are going to get started. We are going to put the striped washi at the top here. And I usually do these videos with a voiceover. I'm going to try to do it in real time as much as I can. There are some parts of it that I will have to speed up just because it'll be really boring for you to watch me like draw in the lines and things like that. So there will be some parts that I speed up. But for the most part, we are going to hang out in real time and plan out the week. So I'm super excited to do this because I'm excited to have the hourly schedule in this book instead of having it on separate daily pages because my Stalogy is my everyday carry. It's the one that I keep open on my desk with the current situation. We're not going anywhere so I keep it open on my desk at home and when I go have to go on campus to school, the Stalogy is the planner that I'm going to take. So having having everything in one will be really helpful. And I'm going to actually, I was going to switch it, um, do the yellow at the top on this page, but I think I might just keep the, keep these two pages the same and switch it on the next pages. And I'm trying out a new layout, so I'm a bit nervous about the new layout of the This Week page because I usually have a weekly dashboard, but I've never had two pages to dedicate to it, so it's going to be a little bit different. It's going to take some getting used to. So now is a good time for me to ask, how are you all doing? I hope you're doing well. I hope that you're excited for the week ahead. I'm excited but nervous because school starts. And if I'm being honest, I'd rather not go back on campus. I'd rather have all my classes online. But that was not possible, so we are here. We are... This is my senior year, so, well, technically it's my senior year, but I have three semesters left because there are some other, I'm a transfer student, so all of my credits didn't transfer over. So there are some classes that I have to make up, so I have three semesters left. I'm excited about it. I already have a job lined up. I had an internship this past semester. I took the semester off and I worked at, oh, I need a header to put the dates. So I worked at a company and I guess I did well enough that it impressed them that they gave me a job offer. 
So that's exciting. I don't have to worry so much about that. I just have to keep my grades up. Keeping my grades up is a stipulation of the job offer. So I have to make sure I do that. So this is where we are going to put the dates. And then I will put, let's see, a little bit of washi. I kind of want to put, yeah, let me write the dates. This is for the 23rd to the 29th, question mark. Yeah. So this is where I usually put the dates. Now, the question is where do I put the this week? I want to put, should I just put it down, like right there? I feel like it needs some washi tape behind it or something. I actually don't have space for it. So let me put this back on here. Because the layout that I'm going to use will take up all of these squares. So I'm going to draw in some lines. I might speed this part up and then I will come back. Okay, so I have the lines drawn in and this is going to be my weekly overview. So I'm going to use this washi tape to put down the days of the week. So let's see, we need up to here. Where are my scissors? Saturday and Sunday are going to share a box because I don't expect to have that much going on. So let's cut these. Okay, now we can put these down. Oh, these take up more space than I thought. So what I'm going to do, that actually just covers up that line that I drew. That's okay. Yeah, that's not going to work for Saturday and Sunday. This is just the first week that I'm doing this, so if this layout doesn't work with the washi tape, because the washi tape is bigger than I thought it was, then I can just write in the dates. Not a big deal. And so then we have to put the days next to it. So Monday is the 23rd. I anticipate these also being bigger than I thought. Okay, so we have this week done. I am going to, oh, this is where I can put the this week sticker. 
This is going to be like a notes area slash to-do section for the week. So I can just put this here. And then we're done. Well, we're done with this page. So for this side is where I'm going to put my trackers. And let's, I don't think there are trackers in here. So what I'm going to do is look in my reusable sticker book. And I do have some, um, I do have some habit trackers in here. Let's see, what color scheme are we going for? I think I can do these three, maybe. I could do these four. Meal tracker, that's what I forgot. I forgot to print out a meal tracker. Oh, maybe if I look in, here we go. The menu sticker book by Recollections has Monday through Sunday dinner trackers in here. So we will be able to use one of these. That problem is solved. So now we just have to get up these habit trackers. And I've seen lots of people use reusable sticker books, but I personally have ruined stickers with these. So let's try to get these up and put them down. So I'm going to track probably three or four habits. So let's take these off very carefully. And then let's use, is there a lot of green in these stickers? I feel like there's, well, there's this one, but I might not even use that one. Let's use purple. So we have our habit trackers down and I'm going to use, let's see, there is a page of stickers that I got from one of the Happy Planner journaling sticker books that I use to write in the habits that I'm tracking. So these two pages right here. And I'm going to track exercise. And with going back to school, I'm going to be doing a lot more walking. So hopefully I can incorporate walking into my exercise routine. Journaling, which I do every day. But again, when I start school, that will be harder to do because I will have to balance daily journaling, planning, and my schoolwork. And I'm tempted to do a no spending challenge for a week, but I know myself. I know that's not going to work. So I'm going to do tidy up because, again, I'm going to be saying this a lot, but going back to school is going to change my routine a lot. So I'm going to have to keep up with my chores and everything while juggling school. 
So those are the three habits I'm tracking. I would also like to add walking um, to my habits, but we'll see if I have room to put another habit tracker down. Then we are going to track our meals. So let's go with the menu stickers, sticker book. And let's do this yellow. It's not the same yellow as this one, but that's okay. Let's put it down right there. And then what else? We have this little empty space on the side. Let's see if there's some deco that we could use. I'm going to take these pages out so I can put them in front of me to see like what kinds of things. It's a pretty skinny area. I can use this one that says I like big books. And I just have to cut off the end part where it hangs over. Like that, nice. And then this is where we are going to put next week's items. So I am going to use this butterfly washi tape to divide the page. There is going to be this weird empty space right here, but there's not much I can do about that. So we are going to um, put next week down here. Nice. So the weekly dashboard is done. I probably could put a full box down here, but I don't know how many notes I'm going to need. So um, should I write down? I don't have that many plans just yet to write down. Let's just keep decorating. I'll keep decorating and then Maybe I'll write the plans down afterward. If not, I'll just do it when I do my regular planning routine. So at the top here, I'm going to alternate between, because I like the way this looks with the striped at the top and the yellow at the bottom. I'm thinking I will alternate between these two at the top, the butterfly and the stripe and the yellow at the bottom. So for this one, we are going to use the butterfly. The other thing about using two days per page is that I'm going to go through this book a lot more quickly than I anticipated. So that's something that I have to be aware of when I'm planning out my future spreads. I'm hoping, because this is August, the end of August, and I have this much left, which is a lot. So I'm hoping I can get the rest of the year. That might be a little ambitious but I'm hoping I can get the rest of the year in this book so then I could start fresh come January. Because I started this in July and I feel like getting half a year in one book is doable, right? Yeah, I feel like that's doable. If I have to, I can go back to a day per page 
if using two pages is too much. So that's always an option. So I'm going to put down the washi tape on the rest of these pages and I will be back in one moment. Okay, so I put all of the washi tape at the top and the bottom. I alternated the top washi but kept the bottom washi yellow. So now we have to do the date covers. So we're going to use this Numbers and Day sticker book by Agenda 52. And I thought I would use these pink date covers. But now that I'm thinking about it, because they're on clear sticker paper, I don't know how well they will show up on the washi tape. Because I was going to put it on the washi tape at the top, but I could put it just right underneath it. So I think we'll do that. So let's put these down. They're a little bit small. But that's okay because I don't want it to take up too much space. Oh, and the date dots. Let's see, we could use, I was thinking about using this page of date dots. Oh, it's falling out anyway, let me take it out. This page of date dots from the same book. So this is the 23rd. Colors aren't exactly the same, but it'll do. 23rd. Then we have Tuesday. 24th. Wednesday. It's hard for me to talk and do these at the same time because I'm afraid I'm gonna miss I'm gonna miss something. So let's do Thursday. Thursday twenty sixth. Friday, 27th. The 28th is this ugly green color, but we're going to use it. Um, I like the color green, but that green, like compared to the other dots on this page, the green ones stand out because they, they're just so dark. The other ones are pastel colored except for the green one. So I don't know why they did that, but. Sunday the 29th. So now that we have the dates down, the next thing we have to do is put down the times on the side, which I'm going to go through and put down the times down the side. I'm going to do try to do from 6 o'clock until as late as I can go. So let's see. I will start it at, yeah, I should have moved the dates up because I wanted to start that's okay I can still make it work so so I was able to go from 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. which is good because I do have some late classes so I'm going to label all of the times on the pages and then I'll come back. Okay, so I have the times down on all of the pages from six to seven. So basically this side of the page is done. 
The next thing we have to do is our, oh, we have to figure out where we want the full boxes to go. I'm thinking it's going to go, because I'm going to put my to-do list right here. So let's do that first. Before I put down the full boxes, there is a page at the back of the sticker book. There is this page that has priority and to-do stickers. So we are going to use these. So priority will go at the top. Priority, and then I have these Zig Clean Color Dot markers that I want to use. And I haven't swatched these yet, so I don't know exactly like what colors I'm going to use because the colors on here are not necessarily the colors that it shows up on the paper. So, but for this it doesn't really matter because these are all kinds of colors. So I could really get away with using any color. So let's just take, oh, I'll do yellow too. So let's just take these. And we are going to put down dots for our top three priority items. So I'm going to use, there are two tips on here. There's this thin tip for writing. And then there's the tip for the dot. So we are going to just put three dots. And... Then I'm going to put a to-do list. And then I'll use the same color. No, I'll use different colors. So then let's do, no, I don't want to do purple because then that'll look like I'm trying to color block. Let's do yellow. Um, let's see, how many should I do? Five, maybe? One, two, three, four, five. Those dots are not straight at all, but that is okay. And then this is at the bottom is going to be my journaling area. So I could put the full boxes here at the top. So this one says, welcome to the book club. We are going to put this one. I'm going to line them up right at the top. Nice, I like that. And then we are going to do the same thing for this one. So let's do priority. And then let's just take a random marker and do one, two, three. And then a to-do sticker should I zoom in a little bit I feel like if I zoom in you won't be able to see the whole book though and one two three four five Oh, and then the full box. Let's use this one with the glasses. It says, you're beautiful and intelligent. Let's line this up. I'm trying to do this without turning the book. There we go. And then the same thing again. Priority. Three dots. Then to do with five dots. One, two, three, four, five. 
Oh, the full box. Let's do this. These books. These three books, like the spines of the book, I mean. And let's, I'm just going to turn the book to do this. It's easier that way. It's still a little bit crooked. And then, let's see. Priority. Let's do this blue one again. And a to do sticker. I need to find a way to make all the dots the same, um, same size because I'm putting them down a little haphazardly. Oh, and also if you were wondering, they do ghost on the other side of the paper, um, but I don't mind it. So also I'm a little heavy handed, so that's also why it uh, shows through. And then we need a to-do sticker. Then let's use the green ones again. Then let's use this one. That is completely crooked. Let's see if it'll come up. Now it's crooked the other way, but it's better than it was before. Um, what colors are we using? And then a to-do sticker. And then Sunday is the last day. We have our priority items. And then a to-do sticker. Let's do green. Okay, so we have all of those done. But I forgot to put down the full boxes, so let's go back. I did Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday. On Thursday, let's put down this one. It says, never be afraid to imagine the unimaginable. We'll put this one at the top here. For Friday, we will use this one with the teacup, it says, you are magic. Let's turn the book this way. And then Saturday, we will use this girl, it says, dreamer. And she looks cool with her purple hair.
little bit crooked, but it wouldn't be a stalogy setup if I didn't put down something crooked. So, and then Sunday, which one should we put? Oh, let's use this one. It says there's no need to be anything other than oneself. So we're going to use this one on Sunday. And I think, is that it that we are going to do? I feel like I need something on these pages. I do want to leave room to write down my plans, but I feel like they need some kind of decoration. They have this page of plants, but I don't feel like the plants go that well. Um, they have teacups, they have these chairs, they have books, they have bookshelves. Let's put... this bookshelf down here. It's all clear sticker paper, so I'm not sure how well you will even be able to see it. On this one, let's put a stack of books. On this one, Let's see. We have quotes we could use. Let's use this one that says, make life cozy. Like that. On Friday, we can use You're doing great, babe. This one. It's hard to see. It's on like notebook paper. Yeah. And then let's see. Dream big. Let's use this one down here. to think of it, I don't know that I needed the hourly on the weekend. I'll see if I use it. If I use it, then I'll keep doing it. If not, then I'll know for next week. Um, let's see, what else could we do? We have these bookstores. These are kind of cute. Let's use this pink one. Okay, so I think that's it. I just have to write in my plans, which I don't, well, I don't know exactly what I have to do because I have to look at, I have some things on my phone and I have some things on my phone and some things on my school schedule, but I don't have access to all of my class schedules just yet. I do know that I have to take my mom to the doctor on Wednesday at 1 p.m. So I'll just put mom doctor at 1 p.m. And then I will write what I have here on these pages, the hourly schedules. But I do my hourly schedule the morning of, so I won't do these now. I will write these on the morning when I'm doing my daily schedule for the day as I'm having my morning coffee and planning my day. Um, I do have classes these days. Oh, the other thing I have to do well, first I need a space to put our dinners. 
So let me just We can put dinners here underneath the to-do list, but I don't know how long my to-do list will be. Where should I put dinners? We do eat dinner around the same time every day, so I could put it down here. Or I'll put it here underneath the yeah, I'll put it underneath the, um, what am I trying to say? What am I trying to say? The box. Oops. So we will put the dinner stickers here. Oh, my hydration trackers. Do I need those though? I feel like I do. But I don't have any printed out just yet, so I won't be able to put those in. So I'll put this one here. Saturday, Sunday. And then I have to distinguish between my online classes and on-campus classes. So Monday is online. I'm just going to put it here in the middle. Tuesday and Thursday, it's on campus. Luckily, I'm driving to school this semester. I usually take public transit, the train and bus, to get to school, but because of everything that's going on, I just don't want to be around so many people. So I am driving to school. I did have to pay. It cost, I don't even want to say, it cost hundreds of dollars to just be able to park on campus. It's because I go to camp, I go to school in the city, and so it's prime parking space. So they make us pay for it. And it's not included in tuition or anything, which I don't know why. But um, Friday is online. So I'm gonna be driving to school, which is gonna be weird. I don't know why. I started telling that. Um, so we have those. I am going to have to write in my class schedule. I should make a whole page with my class schedule in it that I can refer to. But I had not thought that through yet. I know that I'm going to film my videos on Mondays and Fridays but I don't know what time. So I can't put my YouTube in just yet. So I think this is it. I think this is all we are going to be able to put in right now. I'm happy with this. So let's just do a quick flip through and that will be it. So let me zoom out just a smidge. So we have our weekly dashboard page. Um, well, two pages. We have this week and next week. Then we have two pages per day. So we have the hourly on the left hand side, our, our priority items and to-do list, and a little journaling area for the right hand side. So we have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And that's all I have for you. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed this video, but that's all I have for you today. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.